y'all, welcome to The Hive. I'm one of your hosts, LB. And I'm your other host, Brody Miller. Guys, before we get started today, we really need to talk about something. Oh, am I thinking what you're thinking? Yep. Guys, we really need to talk about student section etiquette. Absolutely, but don't worry about it, Yellow Jackets. We have a video. Let's take a look. Here's five rules. Rule number one. You're organized by your grade. Seniors. Seniors. Rule number two. Don't be like him. Be loud. Yeah! Come on, bro. Oh, that's, that's all me. Rule number three. Pick up your trash. Rule number four. Dress with the themes. <laughs> Rule number four. Dress with the themes. You're not chanting, bro. Go sit with your mom. Rule number five. Do the chants or go sit with your parents. Let's go, Jackets. <laughs> Bonus rule. Stay off the field. That was super helpful. Now we know how to be the best student section in Williamson County. Yep, and this year our student section is going to bring the hype. Speaking of the student section, did you go to the Jamboree last week, no, LB? No, I didn't get a chance to, but it looked like a lot of fun. Don't worry about it, Jackets. Our film crew is there to fill you in. The Jamboree is a eight-team, one-half contest. It's just a way for our, all of our teams to get a trial run at playing a real football game. So it's kind of like the last step before the season begins. Ooh. We got Harpeth, Creekwood, East Tickman, Cheatham County, Sycamore, Ezell Harding, Fairview, and Harper. We kind of get to find out today who can really play football because you're in a competitive game situation. So for us, we like to coach that game. Coaching the game is the most fun part for me. And then we can go back and watch film and see who did well, who didn't. Some people will earn starting spots. Some people will get replaced. That's kind of what this is about tonight. I always think we're going to win. I've lost 45 games in my career. I've won 121. But all 45 of those, I thought I was going to win when the game started. So we may get beat, but I always think we're going to win. I believe in our guys. I believe in, in what we're doing. And um, if Harper's better than us, they'll beat us. If we play like we can, we should beat us. I have a saying that the only team that ever beats Fairview is Fairview. Because if we don't play well, we end up losing. So, But I think we're going to win tonight. I don't know about the other games, and I don't really care. It's just uh, we'll be out there, and uh, hopefully the Yellow Jackets will come out on top. Let's go, Jackets! Wow, that looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was jamber really fun. Wow, Brody, good one. Thanks, I thought of it during Sting Time. I'm glad you like your Sting Time. Yeah, I love Sting Time. It gives me so much more time to think about all my jokes. Well, maybe spend your Sting Time thinking of some better jokes. <laughs> STING stands for Students Taking Initiative and in Growing. So it's an opportunity every day for our students to be able to hopefully sign up to go get extra uh, help or some enrichment or just something to engage in fun uh, throughout the day uh, in those 25 minutes with a teacher uh, that they may currently have or a teacher they don't normally get to interact with. Over the last couple of years, we've noticed that students were not utilizing our old focus time. And so focus Focus was established to help students take advantage and get opportunities to help from our amazing staff. And when we were looking at the numbers, possibly only 10 to 15 percent of our students on a daily basis taking advantage of that focus opportunity. So we felt like uh, revamping and going to our sting time. So you get onto your Chromebook and you go to your dashboard and you search in Flex Time Manager. And from flex time, you'll be able to see all the activities every day. Anybody that doesn't sign up will have a catch-all status. And when you check flex time, it will show that you need to report to the cafeteria. The Sting Priority Days are Monday, English. On Tuesday, we have Math and CTE. On Wednesday, we have Social Studies and World Language. On Thursdays, we have Science and Fine Arts. And then on Fridays will be ROTC and Enrichment. 
So some of the non-academic options, um, we have things like Chess Club. Mr. Putnam is really uh, into cards, so he's talking about offering a card session there. And so what we really want students to do as well is if there's something that you think you students would love to do during this time is to reach out to a teacher that may be willing to offer that during STEAM time and then we also will always offer a study hall time because we're always looking for time to study for the next test or complete some homework so that's going to give some students an opportunity to do that as well. We're hoping through STEAM time we're allowing our students to find their uh, voice in that and so looking forward to a great year and this new change at Fairview High School. That was pretty interesting, don't you think, LB? Sure was, Brody. It's fun to see how the new schedule's coming along. Yeah, for sure. Speaking about it, it's almost my lunch time. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, no, silly. My lunch. With a new lunch schedule, we have three blocks. Oh, yeah. I don't get it. Don't worry about it. Check this out. So it's been a big question this school year, Mr. Butler, why did we change our lunch schedule? And so it's a multitude of reasons. We are looking to increase uh, opportunities for our students to get uh, help in their classes. So that's why we have our new STEAM time. And by doing that, we had to adjust our lunch schedule. So at first I didn't think I was gonna like the new lunch schedule, um, but I think it's growing on me. I like that we're gonna have extra time for class stuff because I feel like one of the problems with my class is uh, just planning and executing and finishing with deadlines. It's okay. I like sitting with my friends, but now there's like three different lunch blocks. I have a lunch, which means that we go straight to lunch and then my class comes back for fourth period. So um, that's cool with me. Get lunch down, come back for class. And it's also allowed us to keep our school a lot cleaner. Uh, when we have the entire school eating in the building, uh, it was hard to keep the hallways clean. Uh, and we've actually seen an increase of number of students who are actually eating school lunch now uh, for it. So those are the kind of the main reasons why we made the switch. So the sting time part of it is cool, but the 25 minutes for lunch, I, I feel like I'm being rushed up to finish. If it was possible to go to the counselor or, or Mr. Butler and ask if the schedule uh, could change for certain people so the, um, some people can sit with their friends, that'd be nice, but other than that, it is what it is. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense now. Brody. Hello, Brody. Oh, yeah. What's up, LB? What are you doing? I'm, I'm just wondering. What? What do teachers do after school? Where do they even go? Hmm. One time I heard someone say that they sleep at the school and wake up when it's time to get ready. <laughs> well, who knows? Let's see. When I'm not at school, uh, some of my favorite things are usually I go home, do some kind of workout. Then I cook dinner. I cook dinner every night. I love cooking. And then we are usually watching some kind of sporting event, either my kid or on TV. That's our things, that's what we do. Hi, my name is Mr. Cachese and I am a substitute right now for the theater department at the high school. Outside of school, I love to write. I write a couple different plays every now and then. I also really do love to get back up on stage and act whenever I get the chance. My hobbies outside of school, I don't do a whole lot. I read a little bit, I play some video games, and I hang out with my cat. Hi, I'm Miss Inkle, and I like to read outside of school. I also like to watch a lot of TV, and sometimes I'll even play some video games. My hobbies outside of school include hanging out with all of our different farm animals. So we have chickens, goats, our dogs, and then we have some horses as well. So we like to ride them, work with them, and then just tend to them. I also like to read, as you can see by my door. These are all the books I've read in 2024. Um, I hang out with my daughter, she's super busy. So we like to be active, go hiking, go on walks. Hi, I'm James Milliken, I teach physics. My hobby is I like to bake. I like to bake bread. And I don't really like to bake cakes or muffins because I don't like cakes and muffins. I like bread. So focaccia, crusty bread, biscuits, whatever it is, that's my jam. Uh, as of right now, I help my sons with rec league baseball. So I'll go home 
I get my kids dinner, get it ready, I get them in their change of clothes, and then I'll run my kids to baseball practice. And then when that's over and we come home, my hobbies are just being a father. I got to work on bath time, bedtime, reading, spelling words with my first grader, number identification with my kindergartner, stuff like that. Oh, that was really cool. Who knew teachers did other things than just teach? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all we have today for you, Jackets. Until next time on The Hive. Bye, Bye Jackets. Jackets. Love, Love you. you.